Hi, you're watching Photoshop CS4 tutorial and today we're going to make a panorama using Photoshop's inbuilt photo merge tool. So we'll load up Adobe Bridge and select the file that we want to use. This is a three photo panorama that I'm going to choose. So I'll just select the images. Now, once you've selected your images, you go to Tools, Photoshop and then Photo Merge. This will load up Adobe Photoshop. This uh, technique works with both RAW files and JPEG files, so it works whatever you shoot. I'm using RAW today because I like the additional adjustment. So you'll get this menu in Photoshop. Now you can play around with these options, but I tend to stick with Auto because what Photoshop's a pretty clever program and it manages to get it spot on most of the time. So it now automates your images and aligns the layers by content. You need a lot of RAM to perform this task. Um, it's pretty powerful. It's frozen my computer a couple of times, and it's pretty powerful. So you need to uh, you need to have a lot of RAM, otherwise you will just crash. But if you do, it's a really useful tool, and uh, I use it quite a lot, and uh, saves me a lot of time. So it just automatically aligns them. You've got to let it do it. You can't really click around because it just freezes up the program. So there's our panorama. It looks good. The horizon isn't straight. That's something you have to really look out for. So now we're going to do some bit, bit of fine tuning. So uh, what we're going to want to do is click onto there. And if we go to layer, and then we merge the layers, we don't want the three layers. We just want one image now. So if we control and T goes to free transform so that's what we need now we're just going to twist it round so that the horizon straightens out because there's nothing worse than a panorama with a wonky horizon and often you won't get it right in camera you have to edit it now so we've done that hit enter to do that now we're going to have to crop it down because of the perspective so just do that just do a drag the box off over do a basic a basic thing and then we do the fine tuning now I don't want too much sky so I'll probably cut it out about there and about there and you want to get as much as the image as possible because otherwise uh, you lose the scale and the perspective of it which is a shame because that's what panoramas do so beautifully so we'll hit enter there and it's cropped it down now I think that looks pretty good but I'm just going to hit Control M and adjust the curve slightly. I'm going to darken it down because I love the greens and the browns of the landscape and the also the contrast with the um, with the snow. So I, I think that's just a bit more. That's pretty good to me. Now if we just hit Tab to um, show it in all its glory and Control Plus to scale it up. I think that's pretty good. So we'll just go to File save and you always want to save it as a p dot psd which which is the uh the norm but uh without that it won't work so we'll just save it in there maximize capability on in cs4 and i'll just save as another copy as a jpeg file just in case i want to use it on the internet high quality open line Okay, that's pretty much it. It's quite quite a simple technique, but it's uh, very powerful and very useful, and it saves me a lot of time. So have fun. Go take some panoramas and stitch them together using Photomode.